Okay, we're going to have Dennis from Occupy the Hood. I'm sure, yeah. Well, 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 well. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, man. One year, right? That was. It's been nice. It's been nice. Um, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, I had to come down here, and, and then if I had something else I had to do that came up, um, but I said I had to come down here, and then as I, my car is down, so I'm walking down here in the rain, and I'm thinking like, you know, this brings back memories, because I got the same coffee in my hand from McDonald's, and walking down here, I feel like I'm about to go to a um, GA meeting, and, I, and that was real fun. I'm glad to see all the familiar faces, I'm glad we all came back showed our love. So we're talking about what we're talking about, uh, where we've been and where we're going. So we've been through the SH, you know, we've been through the mess. I really miss the fact that we have this, um, that we lost this uh, actual park. Uh, as I sit back and I've been going around to a couple places talking about the Occupy movement and I think about the occupation and that was like our um, foundation, our core, you know, to have that physical place where we can all come and con conjugate and people can always find us was, was a great thing and I think that kind of um, set us back but I'm glad to see that everybody broke off and I know that everybody's doing positive things because I see everybody out doing positive things. Um, hopefully we can all bring it all back together pretty soon. Um, I'm truly, I'm working on, thank you, and, and I keep using these hand signals, man. I'm really trying to promote that and get everybody using that so no matter where people are, they start doing that. But Give us a lesson on the hand signals. Not everybody knows them. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know the hand signals. You agree. You disagree. You know. Um, the block. Being the most important. You know. Um, oh, clarifying statement. Uh, what's this? Uh, point of order? Point of order. And I saw some weird ones too, speaking of that, um, from other places. I thought that everybody did them the way we did, but uh, found out that they didn't. I saw people doing thumbs up and thumbs down and thumbs halfway. And um, and I definitely want to give a shout out to Rob back there. With Y'all the, got to see the baby. Y'all got to see it. That's the occupation baby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Occupy baby. Occupy baby. Yeah. You know, because they went on a real good journey. I'm, I'm, I'm real, you know, in awe of what they did to go all the way down to New York and really get to that, in that spirit of that energy where this all started. But I wanted to talk to y'all about... Uh, dreams. You know, we all got dreams, right? We got daydreams, night dreams, the American dream. Dr. King had a dream. Me, I'm just working on minimizing my daydreams. I can't remember or control my night dreams. And the American dream, well, we found out that that's a scheme. And I ain't got nothing but love and respect for Dr. King. What the hell with these dreams? I need people to wake up. Because if, <laughs> what? if you ain't awake, then we really need you to wake up. And if you're already awoke, then we need you, and it's your duty to find somebody else to wake up and tell them to listen. Listen. Do you hear those snakes slivering and hissing, causing misery, using their trickery? And presently, they destroy our future history. This ain't no mystery. They designed this real life matrix to use and fool you and me. You see, it's obvious to see they want us blind so we can't see both physically and mentally. They want us drowning and lost in the ignorance of technology and bureaucracy. It's a hypocrisy. They want our kids in front of these TVs 24 hours a day drawing their negative energy and negative imagery becoming clones of BET and MTV so they mirror all the shit that they see and now that's who they be. They want the core and the essence of who we be. Our mind, body, and soul on hold, capture, control, the reverse, and the absence of free. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, this modern day progression has got me feeling like I'm running on a treadmill. Exhausted, I feel, but I ain't got no mileage. We're currently up to $250,000 for the average person to go to college. I guess that's what you call higher education. And this year, the national unemployment rate was at its highest point in a long time, which was just above 8%. But above that was the black national unemployment rate, which was 11%. But I was at the tippy-tippy top, 
the black male unemployment rate was at a whopping 14 percent i guess affirmative action didn't make a dent and brothers still go to jail on that new way slavery now you know why they undereducate our babies. Big Mike said that on burn this mother down. Now look around because see, we are not the minorities, but we are the marginalized. We need to wake up and realize that we are closely connected by blood, cuz like La Familia. We are genealogically linked, cosmically in sync, and in tune to the original family. That's the first man, woman, and child. Wow, now that original connection has left us blessed with some godly-like tools. But what does it prove to have these tools that are unused or misused or just proves wasted? And somebody once told me that your freedom ain't free. So that means to me to bring that revolutionary change in range, we're going to have to make those individual chains. We're going to have to break those mental chains. we got to step outside of our frame of thinking and learn each other. You see, because i got to learn you, and you got to learn me. And from learning, I'll respect you, and then you'll respect me. And then I'll learn not to vex you so you don't feel the need to hex me, and then we can work together collectively to minimize our universal negativity. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> now that perplexes me. It always perplexes me, why in the hell is simplicity so damn revolutionary? But don't worry, because the solution is simple too. Because all we gotta do is give more than we get. We gotta balance our personal ships. We gotta work together to find all the pieces of the puzzle to make them fit. We gotta find the center of the target dead and hit all at the same time. Now see, now that is our revolutionary grind. That is our universal bind. That is the problem to the solution that we need to find. Wrap that around your mind because see that faction, their faction, their faction tonight, the tip, one percent faction, will give our faction a goddamn fraction. If we keep sitting around here relaxing, they're gonna keep taxing to the maxing and keep laughing us on this track of life because we only have one true might and they know that. And that's a universal unified fight, a collective effort, right? I said a universal unified fight, a collective effort, whoever will fight for which right to any oppression upon our life, they could be black, brown, red, yellow, or white. We all here to fight for what's right. And I put down the mic. Peace. Wonderful. That's great.